Hi, science teachers. Welcome to Real Science Challenge. I'm Kent Louie, teaching science and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. And thank you for doing an awesome job teaching your students. Now, today is another episode of Back Pocket Science Lessons, where I share a science lesson I have in my back pocket that I can pull out during emergencies. Like when Carl borrows the lab materials I set aside from my class, and now my class can't do the lab. Thanks, Carl. Today's back pocket science lesson is called Lab Equipment CER. And what you'll need is five or six pieces of lab equipment, a pen, and some paper. For all of you looking for an easy activity to practice CER, this is one you should have in your back pocket. If you've tried or am trying this with your class, please let me know how it went in the comments section below and go to realsciencechallenge.com EP13 for all handouts and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So here's the story. A few years ago, I wanted to find an easy way for students to practice writing conclusions and supporting them with evidence and reasoning, also known as CER, Claim Evidence Reasoning, without having to do a complicated lab or a case study. And at the time, I was planning to have students learn about lab equipment, lab equipment, excuse me, as well, when I thought about combining the two. You know, learn about lab equipment and practice CER. So I had students take out and look at some, some lab equipment and answer the following question. What is this piece of lab equipment used for? Explain using the CER or claim evidence reasoning format. And to answer that question, students really need to look at an object's form and relate it to its function. For example, consider the graduated cylinder. What is, what is this used for? Well, let's consider its form. It's got these detailed markings on the side. It's got a groove on the top and a very wide base. Now let's answer the question through a CER statement. Claim, it's used for measuring out and pouring out liquids. Evidence, as we can see, it's got these markings and a wide base and this little spout on top. And reasoning, well, the markings and the wide base make it really easy to pour in and measure liquids. And the groove spout makes it very easy to pour out these same liquids into other containers. And that is a pretty good CER statement. Consider another example. Consider the example of an Erlenmeyer flask. What is this used for? Well, let's consider its form. It's got a very narrow top and a very wide base. It's made of glass and it's also got some markings here, but not very detailed. So the claim, an Erlenmeyer flask is used for mixing materials. The evidence, it's got a very wide base, very narrow opening, and it's made of glass. And the reasoning, well, these things are important because a narrow opening and wide base prevents splashing when it's mixed. Nothing can splash out. And also it's glass because then it can't react with anything that's inside that's being mixed. Thus, the Erlenmeyer flask is perfect for mixing solutions. Now consider other things your students can possibly look at, like this, a utility clamp, or even more exotic things like a pipette or a burette. These are all really cool pieces of lab equipment students can analyze. And what I like about this activity is that it hits a lot of these skills we want to teach. Students get to observe, they get to analyze data, they get to draw connections between form and function and conclusions as well. And it's a very simple activity that requires very little setup. I hope you try this with your class and let me know how it went in the comments section below. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and remember to science everywhere, every day.